My name is Shannon Galpin. I'm a Frisco resident and we are installing a Black Lives Matter mural today. My name is Devin Galpin-Clark and we are here today doing a huge street mural, Black Lives Matter, across um, the main street in Frisco, Colorado. I'm Kelly Rogers, Kelly Rogers Art. So, my name is Tracy. Um, I am a teacher for Jeffco in Arvada. Hi, I'm Johnny Draco and I'm part of Realize. I'm Amy with Realize. <laughs> yeah, my name's, uh, my name's Pat Milberry. My name is Aaron Sutton, Visual Goodies. I actually live in Denver, Colorado. within the space of the sea. So if you see right there, you can see like a head right there, right? Mm -hmm. and you can see that head, you see head. So it's essentially turned into a profile of one of the beings that I've like, you know, sort of created throughout my art career. I create Afro-cosmic multicultural work, so yeah, you'll see. Basically the whole concept behind uh, doing this letter B was to create words to represent freedom. I guess the type of freedom that we should have is representing my life better. Right? So. This mural actually stands as kind of a public statement that they stand in solidarity with race, equity, diversity, and inclusion discussions, but that this is not their policy changes, that we now as a community need to hold the town council accountable you know, I hope for one thing that they just understand that this is something that's important to this community and that we stand behind. And I hope that the more they see it, the more they think about who they are and how they feel and, uh, and how they move in this world. My concept was I wanted to showcase Frisco. So this is a uh, topography of Frisco and I have the peak. thought that that was really important to showcase um, the town that was holding space for um, this movement. Green couple of uh, Colorado flowers here. Then on the top, there's a symbol that represents the power of love, and it originated in Ghana, in Africa, so. I was trying to bring some uh, of nature into this mural for the R, um, as I'm an environmental activist and a climate activist mostly, but you can't have environmental justice without social justice social justice and you can't have social justice without environmental justice so I kind of wanted to bring that in and tie it in a little bit with um, climate activism endangered species and bring some of the local wildlife into town Take pride in the fact that our town is taking a stand and take pride in the fact that we're the first mountain community to do this. Um, and what does that say for our community? I think it says a lot that we are willing to use our voice and how do we now go forward as a community to push policy change, to be more welcoming, not just to those that come and recreate here, but also to those that live here and recognize that we are not doing the best that we can for everyone that lives here.